we have an equilibrium which starts with ethylethanoate and water. It forms ethanoic acid and ethanol. Right, in the question you're told, you start with one mole of ethylethanoate, and at the point of equilibrium, you have 0.3 moles. I'll write that under it 0.3 moles of ethanoic acid. Right. First, we'll start off by writing the Kc expression for the reaction. To write that, all we do is very simply dip a new piece of paper. Let's we'll see what we're doing over here. And then to write Kc equals at the top in square brackets the products ethanoic acid and ethanol. For those people who don't do A-level maths, there is no operation, mathematical operation written between the two square brackets, so that means times. Underneath it we have our reactants. Ethyl ethanoate and water. Okay, now the problem is we know the concentration of ethanoic acid. And what we have to think about is if we take the molecule over here of ethyl, ethyl ethanoate, it will snap into two products. One molecule of ethyl, ethyl ethanoate will break into one molecule of ethanoic acid and one molecule of ethanol. So if I've got 0.3 moles of ethanoic acid, I'm going to get 0.3 moles of ethanol. Okay, but here we have a problem. We don't have one mole of ethyl ethanoate. We've actually used up 0.3 moles. So this, the concentration of ethyl ethanoate is 0.7. Right, we can also say that if we started off with one mole of water, we'd end up with 0.7 moles of water as well. All we now need to do is substitute these numbers into the Kc expression. So we'll end up with Kc equals here, 0.3, the concentration of ethanoic acid multiplied by the concentration of ethanol divided by the concentration of ethyl ethanoic multiplied by the concentration of water in moles as 0.7. And we put all of that into our calculation, we get a value of Kc is equal to 0.184. Now, I really am not concerned with the volumes at the end, because we can see if we had volume of ethanoic acid and volume of ethanol, and underneath that the volume of ethyl ethanol and the volume of water, these would, in the old terms that we use, cancel each other out. In other words, volume divided by volume is 1. Volume divided by volume is 1. So multiplying anything by 1 or dividing by 1 doesn't really change anything. In other words, if I times my top by 2, divide it by 2, I'm not doing anything at all. So why do it? And we don't have to do anything to it, so our answer to the case is 0.184. That is how to work out Kc for a very simple equilibrium.